Alright guys, um, I'm here at Sheraton, uh, this is about approximately quarter past five in the morning. Why am I here at quarter past five in the morning? Um, it's because I once again found myself on the heavier end of the scale and need to do something about it. So, heading into the gym. You know, Barbie needs to say a lot of times, you know, why well, you think I born big? I was actually born big. Um, according to my parents, I was a uh, 10 pound baby. The type of body that I have, I have big bone. I mean, like, literally big bone. What has been happening is that I would lose weight, I would gain weight, and lose weight, and then gain weight, and it's been an on and off, on and off um, roller coaster. My best efforts in losing weight was back in 2012 when I lost a massive 75 pound. I was the fittest I ever was in my adult life. I had more energy. I was participating in running road races. I was in Run Barbados, etc., etc. You know, see me there with a flat stomach looking all smug. I maintained that for about four years. I went overseas to study, did my masters. And for the larger part, I maintained that level of fitness. And um, when I came back to Barbados, it's when it all fell apart. Um, I realized in combat Barbados that I was a stress eater. I did not know that about myself. And I became horribly, horribly, horribly addicted to sugar. I used to do this thing named cornflakes sludge. I used to put so much sugar in my cornflakes that the milk looked like sludge and they nicknamed it cornflakes sludge. And thinking about it now, it seems a little gross because it's the amount of sugar, but man, that for when you mix it out sugar the and the milk and the cornflakes and you take that first bite it used to be like so i i did all kind of thing i i, I mean my good friend jason bell um we started training together we, we went torturing ourselves running up and down rolling hills in st george and um i know for a larger part i i lost weight but then again the weight came back on so i joined this gym at Sheraton um, when I say enough is enough um, new year new me I also in addition this time around I am doing this program called the keto program with Roderick Lashley now, keto is not the only thing that Rod Roderick does he does he's a he's a trained trainer Roddy has um, earmarked some exercises I should do today's workout is going to be 20 minutes on the elliptical 20 minutes on the treadmill and then two minutes of skipping, a minute of mountain climbers, 15 jump squats. Originally it was supposed to be 15 burpees, but one, burpees are off the devil, and two, because I'm so heavy, one, when I get down on the ground, I do the burpees, the first one or the second one had my wrist feeling funny because of the weight. So Roddy told me to switch to jump squats. So 15 jump squats, 15 setups, 15 push-ups. And I gotta do that round of exercises three times with a two minute break in between. One of the one of the main things that I realize about myself is that when I hit my goals, I'm usually like, okay, now what? It's like a beautiful quote I heard on Scrubs years ago. The key to my exercise program is this one simple truth. I hate my body. What? Do you understand that the second you look in the mirror and you're happy with what you see, baby, you just lost the battle. I remember the day exactly. I don't remember which day it was, but I remember looking in the mirror where we were living at the time. I look at myself at that time I had a four and a half pack, like literally I had a flat stomach and stuff. And I say, you know, you're looking good. Yeah, that was the first morning I said to myself, Yeah, Rama, you made it. And then from there on it was all downhill. <laughs> I just I stopped going to the gym as much. I you know, I said, oh, you know, Rama, you can eat a little ice cream every now and then, no man, you, you burn it off. And I never got back. And I yeah, guess so I can make my way to the gym and we can make this thing work. Oh, well, that's one part of my routine complete. Um, I did 20, 10 minutes on the elliptical, and then I was trying to do 20 minutes on the treadmill, but around minute 10, 11, I started getting pain in my lower back. But you see, the thing is, 
I have learned that I need to listen to my body because many times I tweak stuff before because I know that I I know how my brain works so I would be good running on the treadmill and then I would look down and realize that I got like three minutes left in my work, work run and all of a sudden all of me start hurting I start feeling nauseous and all kind of thing but as you work out you have to learn what is this is my body crying out because I exercise in pain or this is something seriously wrong that you need to stop before you hurt yourself pain and because I am how, much, how heavy I am which is 300 and something pounds 305, 306 uh, when the small of my back starts to hurt I know that it's time to pull off that exercise so I pushed for 12 minutes and then I stopped and then did a little cool down now it's time to do skipping uh, mountain climbers jump squats and set up push ups three rounds just take a half an hour let's go if I get some funding to get a pill made that whenever you overeat that you can feel like this well I'm glad that's over um, I remember a quote a long time ago saying that um, a good workout is one that you hate doing but love finishing and that was totally correct for this one I don't know why I do this to myself I just need to stop being so liquid and stop eating foolishness and so now I gotta put myself through this torture because I am extremely indisciplined when it comes to food ridiculous so anyway, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Anyway, until next time, peace. Here's Reese.